I am making this video um, as to share awareness and also to mark for myself this period of time. So today at work, um, an, an instance happened between me and my coworker that prompted me to look inward and reassess, reflect. Um, I cannot disclose the details of my work or my coworker. So for the time being, I will just use non-inclusive terms, I suppose is the word. So party A and party B, party B will be my coworker. Um, party A is an outsider, uh, just a, a part of the story. Um, but I cannot, again, disclose that information. Party A returned a phone that they had found outside, and Party B proceeded to then find the owner of the phone and um, had a lengthy conversation with the friends of Party A to facilitate in finding the owner of the phone. Party B turned to me and um, just reflected on the conversation. Um, party A was, you know, um, otherwise kept up and they were not able to pick up the phone at the moment and in that moment were directing their frustrations to party A. I'm sorry. Party B. Party B is my coworker. So Party A was directing their frustrations to Party B. And my coworker turned to me and um, just, you know, was um, reflecting on uh, how their words had, you know, been um, unkind and unnecessary um, in this, in resolving this issue. And I said, because having no, I had no understanding of, um, who the person on the other phone was, but that does not excuse what I said. Um, I said, let me guess, it's some Indian guy saying, insert an accent here and some monosyllabic words. Um, party B, my coworker, said no, why would you assume that? Um, rightfully told me that was not something to say at work. And I am ashamed of my actions. And um, I had to excuse myself and leave work early because I could not continue um, I apologized to her profusely but you know she said it wasn't wasn't her that needed to be apologized to that I was so ashamed I just don't have any other word for it um it's it's not embarrassment it's it's like this deep rooted just you know I did wrong and there's no way to fix it I I just she'll have that image of me forever at least I would, and I have, 
you know, I've had other people say things like that. And I remember it. You know, I remember it for a long time. I never forget. You can forgive, but you can never forget. And I'm just so disappointed in myself. That... Anyways, so I wanted to post this video as just a marker for me, but also for anyone else watching out there. Um, these are the steps that I took. I apologized to my coworker, as I stated, that I immediately told my supervisor and I will accept any disciplinary measures necessary. I pride myself on my work and I pride myself on being professional. And um, that's, that's just why I'm so disappointed in myself. But also as a human being, I'm just like, why did that come out of my mouth that I just don't understand? So, when you don't understand something, you learn more. You, you go and you figure out, what is this that I'm not understanding? So that you can arm yourself with that knowledge for any further instances. So, I did uh, do a little bit of research on racism on implicit bias um, with articles from the association uh, APA is what it's called I think it's like the Association for Psychology American Psychology Association um, that I, I read an article um, on it was on a cognitive science website on implicit bias and uh, I just I just took away these key things. Um, even people who are members of marginalized groups themselves can hurt members of other marginalized groups. Therefore, the insults and invalidations they deliver to others are expressions of implicit bias. And on an individual level, they are equally hurtful. And I apologize to every Indian person out there um, that that thought came to my mind. And that then I expressed that thought to my coworker. That is unacceptable behavior. And I apologize and this is my most public way of doing it. Um, I was not able to contact the individual that was on the phone. Um, but whoever they are, I apologize sincerely to them too. And to my coworker and to my supervisor and to myself. Especially. I just don't understand. And this is, this is why I went on and I read more about this implicit bias because I, I know these things about myself I know that my upbringing is one of integrity but it is also one of compassion kindness love I, I mean these things were instilled in me from a young age and I just so why did I say that well it says here that implicit bias refers to positive or negative mental associations cued spontaneously by social groups. Many studies suggest that implicit bias is widespread, even among people who explicitly endorse egalitarian attitudes. That's, that's what I thought I was, an egalitarian. I'm so conscious. I'm so conscious of myself every day. I think about my responses, my words, my actions, how. And I knew it. I, I, I knew. I mean, 
seconds after I said that, I was like, oh my gosh, I knew that it was wrong, but I couldn't take it back. It was already out, and she had heard it, and so reading on. This article focused on implicit bias as a cognitive system rather than an individual attitude because um, they had some, you know, studies that backed up that individual attitudes of explicit bias are either through early social learning, so it's, it's um, instilled in them at a very young age, or it is... Um, individual differences associated with biased behavior and um, that didn't really align with some of these studies that found that some people had explicit behavior but their character and their overall behavior was good like was socially acceptable and was not um not the standard for them it wasn't the standard and um so this article is focusing on it as a cognitive system, something that is, you know, um, global and through a social group. Um, the biggest takeaway that I got was that changing what information is situationally available can alter implicit bias wars. So that's why educating yourself is important. And I am a lover of academics. And, um, I thought, I thought I knew this stuff already. Um, but we're always learning. And, um, uh, anyways, the context that they're describing in here can have very different cues. You know, some can be in virtual spaces, some can be in the workplace, some can be in your own home, in the city, in the state, whatever you name it. Context is everywhere. And um, they use this bias of crowds model that suggests that implicit bias, like a wave, is a social phenomenon that passes through individuals rather than residing inside of them. So really the question is, you know, what features in an environment can cue these biases? And um, what social structures perpetuate these biases over time and how can environments be designed to reduce the bias? I, I, will, I will key the, um, uh, uh, the article down below that I'm, both the articles that I'm talking about, but I just wanted to say that I had a panic attack because I was very concerned that this action was going to define me and I'm not going to let it. I won't let it define me. Um, I have uh, bought a book already on Amazon. It's going to arrive Tuesday and I'm going to be reading that book. I'm going to be taking notes. Um, it's called Biased. Uh, the prejudices and what we think, do, and see. Um, I, I will link it down below. Um, I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry to every Indian, to every marginalized member who has been a part of microaggressions or implicit bias things said to them like the things that I said today I am ashamed and um, I am going to work on myself as I said and I am going to take this as a lesson 
that I am never going to forget this due to this video, but also just due to how I feel right now. And um, I just want you to know that if you have found implicit bias in yourself, the first thing is to educate yourself. You're not going to stay ignorant to what you already to what you already have thought you knew. Always keep learning, always keep updating your information. And um, also, you know, take stock in your feelings. The APA article really helped me do that. Um, I really need to see a therapist, but um, I was able to kind of dissect why that might have um, happened today. I was already in a very um, negative mood. And that does not excuse anything. I'm not excusing my behavior at all. Um, however, I'm just um, just um, enlightening you on you know some of the some of the things that I thought about while trying to understand where I came from and what I am so afraid of. That's what racism is all about: is just being afraid of others, other people, and other races and other things we just don't know and, and that's what knowledge can help us do is to you know further eradicate that fear so I'm going to do that and um, I again I'm so sorry and if you're struggling as well please know I'm praying for you as I'm praying for me Thank you.